Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit from the WoW Podcast, Blue Please on CynicalBrit.com. I must apologise for the lack of content on the channel today. There's been a few reasons for that. Firstly, I've had to spend a good two and a half to three hours leveling up a new wargan. And I'm going to show you the reason why. And also, I'm feeling a little ill at the moment, so... I should be able to get this video done, and hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow and everything will be hunky-dory. So... I'm calling this the quest from hell. Now, I was telling you about the issues with the hunter and the disappearing pet, so let me try and give you the fullest possible explanation that I can. As far as I can tell, when you phase, or when you transition to a new area, or sometimes when you die, or when your pet dies, or when you get too far away from your pet, or seemingly at random by the will of the beta gods, your pet will vanish, and you won't be able to get him back. As in, he will count as not existing anymore. It's pretty ridiculous. So you have to go and tame a new one, and then it'll disappear again. It's nightmarish. I actually tamed three separate Mastiffs, and lost three within 15 minutes of each other. It's not great. So the situation with Hunters on the beta right now, and this is something that Big Red Kitty has also confirmed, is that they are now unplayable. At the starting levels, when you've got your Mastiff, it, it's pretty good. And then when you don't have your Mastiff from, say, 5 to 7, and then maybe a little bit past that, it, it's okay. But against everything else, it really isn't. We're getting to the point now where mobs start to hit pretty hard, and something I noticed about these guys, and a lot of the mobs around level 10 in this area, is they move unnaturally fast. I mean, we're talking about... Mobs that can easily catch you or outpace you. Which is kind of terrifying when you think about it, because most mobs in the normal game cannot do that. What that means for a hunter is that you've got way less time to attack the mob before it gets into melee range, and you've somehow got to work a way out of there, which usually involves using concussive shot. The problem is that this new focus mechanic means you can only cast a couple of special shots before your focus runs out, and the regen is surprisingly slow at this stage of the beta. So yeah, that's pretty much the problems with the hunter, and I'm going to demonstrate them in the quest from hell. Now, the point of this quest here is to sneak into this area, locate the two guys who have kidnapped the king. It's sort of like a bit of a coup d'etat going on right here. So. You've got to get in there and use a stealth potion to do it, because otherwise you're totally screwed. I mean, these guards hit really hard, and they come in pulls of two at least. Which is a hunter without a pet? Yeah, good luck. You're absolutely toast. And indeed, most classes, you saw another Worgen Rogue get completely destroyed in that area just a few short moments ago. Also, they've got dogs that can detect stealth, so you've got to be careful. The nice thing is you can pop the stealth potion again and again to actually escape from these situations. So you've got to find these two guys. I spent a few minutes looking around, seeing if I could find them, and I couldn't. So I'm heading up the hill in order to assassinate them. Now, for some classes, this is going to be fairly simple. Rogue should be able to deal with it nicely. But for Hunter minus Pet, you've got to bear in mind the area that you're in and the geography of the battlefield. Now, the first guy is hiding in a house over here. And that's pretty much where he stays for the vast majority of the time. If he comes outside, he doesn't venture too far, and there are two guards plus a dog and another guard within pulling range. It's not too good at all, and you'd be surprised at the stealth detection of those guys. Otherwise, he's in here. Look at the size of this house for a second. It's about eight yards across, which means that kiting is incredibly hard. And as you can see, I um, need to try and get out of range right here. There's a little alcove I can get in, but I get stuck in the corner right here. I should put off an explosive shot. Oh, and he has a stun as well, at which point he will beat on you hard. He's got a lot of HP, and kiting in such a small area is tricky. I mean, all I can really suggest is jumping up and down the stairs like this. As a normal hunter, you'd be absolutely fine, because you'd have a pet to tank him. But in this environment, good luck. Oh yeah, and that resets him. So, if you try and escape from it using the stealth potion, you'll reset and he gains all of his HP back. Yeah... Now, it's unfortunate that I decided to pick Explosive Shot, because if I'd picked Aimed Shot, I might have stood a chance. Explosive Shot is not all that great. It does a little fire dot, but that's about it. So I thought, hey, 
Let's see if he patrols out, and he does. Like, that's perfect. Fantastic. So, grab him. And, oh, look at the size of the aggro range of those mobs. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get them away. I can't escape. Oh, God. Yeah. Good luck. you toast. Unless you do that, of course. But they won't help you because the guy's regened his health to full and you haven't. So you've got to wait a little bit. His patrol doesn't really get far enough away. And you've got that other patrol with the dog and the guard right there. I, mean, I was barely even anywhere near and it's managed to pull all of those. It's insane. You're obviously supposed to fight him inside the house and any other class could manage that. But Hunter minus Pet in this Cataclysm beta? <laughs> Absolutely not. Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah, and they'll randomly stealth detect you for no apparent reason. I should probably point that out as well. I don't think the dog was in range. I didn't see the dog when I walked past him. Let's give it another shot, shall we? Can we pull it off? I'm not a very good hunter. and If anything, this video shows just how inept I am as a hunter. But it's interesting to see, in a level 10 zone, the balance issues. I mean, obviously this zone is balanced with you having a pet in mind. And I managed to pull it off there, got some pretty lucky crits, a little bit of decent kiting, and of course I had help from somebody else, which is the reason I was able to kill him. But it's interesting again to see that this level 10 area has been balanced with a higher degree of power than you would otherwise have had in, say, vanilla. I mean, we're talking about classes that didn't get things like Explosive Shot at level 10, Aimed Shot at level 10, Pyroblast at level 10. All sorts of different things. So they've powered up your character, but in return they've also powered up the mobs, and this is actually no walkover. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. And this is an artificial difficulty spike as a result of my class not working as intended within the beta due to various bugs that will obviously get fixed before the release. But still, if you consider this quest for a second, you've got guys who are patrolling in a very limited area. You have to be very careful about where you attack them. I mean, this guy, for instance, he wanders back and forth, back and forth. The only way you can really get to him is back here. So you've got to be careful about your pulls. The aggro range on the guards is fairly large. And you've also got to deal with the stealth detecting Mastiff. Which is even worse. Then I have an additional handicap in that I'm an idiot and managed to pull those as well. It's okay because I can take him out. Fantastic. Now I'll just stealth. Oh, it's gone off. Oh god, it's disappeared. Oh, oh dear. Where is it? Is it in my bag? Yes it is. I can't find it and I'm dead. <laughs> Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Never mind. A little bit of a tip for anyone doing a quest like this. Put it on your hotbar, for God's sake. Since it considers the quest to be complete, it doesn't seem to think that you'll need the stealth potion again. Ignoring the fact that in order to get back to the king, you have to run past a ton of red mobs who are faster than you and can kick the crap out of you. Thankfully we can resurrect down here. We're just inside the range, so let's get the hell out. But yeah, the reason I'm running the rest of this is that there's a nice item you get at the end of this quest that I'd like to show you that is also bugged in the beta right now. Ah, uh, there it is. Fantastic. Sneaky, sneaky. As much as I'm calling this... The Quest from Hell. A quest of this difficulty would be very nice to see in the level 80 to 85 bracket. We've seen stuff like this before that's actually pretty tough as a soloer. A couple of quests in Wrath whereby you had to control a creature in a single combat boss fight style encounter. So, so a couple of those, particularly in Zuldrak. I'd like to see more of that. Now, we have a hat. Finally, this hat we were looking for. Oh dear god, it's the hat from hell! <sighs> I guess I should have expected it after all of that nonsense. My name's been Total Biscuit. I'll see you next time.